This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap with Ivan Caesar. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Premier Trade Market Wrap for April 25th, 2007. My name is Ivan Caesar, and this is the news. Sales of new homes helped by better weather posted a modest increase in March. But the gain was less than expected. The Commerce Department reported Wednesday that new single-family home sales rose to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 858,000 units in March, an increase of 2.6% for February, which had been the slowest sales space in nearly seven years. Orders for U.S. durable goods rose more than forecast last month. The 3.4% rise in orders for goods such as aircraft, business equipment, and appliances followed a 2.4% gain that was more than initially estimated. The Commerce Department said in Washington today, or excluding orders for transportation equipment, which tend to fluctuate wildly month to month, the gain in durable goods orders was 1.5% after a 0.4% decline. Economists had predicted a 1.1% gain. The fresh snapshot of the national economy released Wednesday by the Federal Reserve in its beige book found that manufacturing activity was slow in many areas and that residential real estate continued to weaken with sales declining in many districts and flat in a number of others. On the inflation front, the Fed survey found that consumer prices remain generally stable with some districts experienced only modest prices increase. Information from the survey will figure into discussions at the central bank's next meeting on May 9th. Many economists predict the Fed will continue to hold a key interest rate at 5.25%. For stocks in the news, PepsiCo, the world's second largest software drink maker, said Wednesday its first quarter profit rose 16% on the strength of its international and Frito-Lay snack divisions. Profits for the quarter ending March 24th was $1.1 billion, or 65 cents per share, up from 947 million or 56 percent per share a year earlier. Revenue rose 9 percent to 7.35 billion from 6.72 billion last year. Boeing said Wednesday that its first quarter earnings climbed 27 percent thanks largely to robust orders for commercial airplanes and strong defense business. The Chicago-based Boeing earned $877 million, or $1.13 a share, for the quarter ending March 31st, compared with $692 million, or $0.88 cents per share, a year earlier. Revenue climbed 8% to $15.4 billion, beating Wall Street's expectations. Conical Phillips said Wednesday that asset sales pushed its first quarter profits up 7.7%, but the oil major's key exploration and production arm was hurt by lower commodity prices and the company warned of lower production. Net income for the Houston-based company rose to $3.55 billion, or $2.12 a share for the January through March period from $3.29 billion or $2.34 a share in the year ago quarter. ConocoPhillips said its profit included a one-time net benefit of $0.29 cents a share from the sales of assets. 
Revenue fell 12% to $41.3 billion from $46.9 billion a year ago. Shares of major internet companies traded slightly higher for the most part on Wednesday as Amazon.com leaped almost 28% after the company reported its first quarter profit more than doubled. Shares of the Seattle-based company added as much as $12.43 or 27.8% to $57.18 during the, during the day on the NASDAQ stock market. On Tuesday, the company said its quarterly earnings increased year over year to $111 million or 26 cents per share from $51 million or 12 cents per share in the year ago period. The economic reports for Thursday include the U.S. initial jobless claims for April 21, 2007. This has been the premier trade market wrap for April 25, 2007.